to burn out those shoulders. My name is Melody and I'm the owner of Elevate Your Plate. Compared to muscle groups such as our legs and our core, our shoulders are a very small muscle group and often get neglected during workouts. These five exercises guarantee to burn your shoulders out. All you need are some light dumbbells, no more than 10 pounds, or you can use something around the house for resistance, as long as the weight is even on both sides. I'm using wine bottles, you can use cans of soup, water bottles. You can also perform these exercises without any resistance at all. Are you ready? Let's go. slight bend in the knees, and shoulders roll back and down away from the ears. Weight will come right here at your thighs. You will take your arms up 45 degrees, about shoulder height, and lower back down. You have 15 reps of these. Your second exercise is a overhead press with a shoulder internal rotation combination. For this one, arms come up into 90 degrees, goal pose, bring the arms slightly in front of you, press the weight above the head, lowering back to your starting position, and then rotate those palms towards the ground, keeping the arms up the entire time above that chest. You wanna make sure, even as you start getting tired, that you do not drop the arms below that chest. One rotation and one overhead press is one rep. You do have 15 total reps of these. Your third exercise is a front raise, lateral raise combination. For this one, weight start by your side, palms facing into the thighs. Raise that weight straight up in front of you to about shoulder height, and then rotate the palms away from each other, bringing the weight towards the sides of your body, and then lowering back down to your starting position. One front raise combined with one lateral raise is one rep. You have 10 total reps of these. Your fourth exercise is a shoulder external rotation. You just need one weight for this one and you will have 15 reps on each side. Bring your elbow up 90 degrees, making sure that it's glued to the torso. You will rotate your forearm, shoulder, and wrist back behind you, taking the weight towards the side and then taking the weight back and rotating to your starting position. It is important for this one that you keep your elbow glued towards the torso the entire set. After you've done 15 on this side, you will then switch to your other side. We spend a lot of time hunched over on the computer whether we're working on our couch, at a desk, at our kitchen table, causing that posture and those shoulders to come rotating forward. So we need to give the upper back right here, our traps, our rhomboids, and the back of our shoulders some much needed attention. Your fifth and final exercise will be a standing reverse fly. You will need both weights for this one. To get set up, hinge at the waist, coming all the way forward, making sure that all the weight is heavy in those heels, bring both palms facing in, and a nice neutral spine with your head, neck, and shoulders. From here, bring the weights out to the side, squeezing those shoulder blades at the top, and lowering the weight back down. Squeezing the shoulder blades and lowering back down. You will have 10 total reps of the standing reverse slide. <laughs> 